All right, here we're going to tie the fatal attractor, starting out with some 70 to denier black thread. I'm going to tie in a little bit of the red crystal flash. Just a few strands will do. Oops. Take my thread down to, uh, I would say, two eye lengths from the eye of the hook. And come back a little bit. Here we're going to tie in our McFlylon. McFlylon, excuse me. I like to take mm, roughly about two lengths, maybe two and a half lengths of the hook. Tie that in. We're going to make a post of it. Now, we're going to split this in two, two even, it's so like a wing, I can get it. We're going to do some crisscross wraps. Next, we're going to take some peacock ice tub. Throw that on the, on the thread. I like to be pretty generous with this. Um, I like to have a nice thicker body. Although a little bit does go a long way. Now we're going to leave a tab at a room in for the, um, the hair. However, um, I've found this really useful. I'll take my thread and put it to the front of the, the hook. And this is actually where I'm going to tie in my hackle. Just some regular grizzly hackle. I'll strip it to give some uh, room to tie it in. And the reason I do this is I want the, the hackle to be going back. When, uh, when you tie it in, when you tie in your deer hair or 
uh, if you're using elk. It's extremely difficult to get it to a point where um, and actually I tied that in wrong. Um, it's just extremely difficult to get to a point where you can clip the, the tail end and make it look nice. So we're actually going to tie this right behind our post, our wings. Just let that hang. And ever so gently clip that. So I have already had some of this coastal deer hair that I use already pre-packed or stacked, excuse me. And I'll measure it to uh, the length of the hook or so. I like to make it a little bit extra long, just for my own personal sake. Just like a elk hair caddis. Take that. So notice how it flares out. Uh, there will be in a little bit extra, but that's okay. Take this. Move all my everything forward. Now here I'm gonna. Whoops, got some ice tub on there. <laughs> got ice on my whip finisher. Here we're gonna carefully whip finish. And now I can get that out of the way. Throw a few wraps behind. I like to be pretty generous. And then right in front. Make sure that your wing isn't getting caught in the fibers here. And I do understand that uh, my hackle isn't as long as it could be. Stroke those fibers back. Snip it off close, and we're going to trim up the extra fibers. Now, before I clip the wings, and this is completely optional, I like to take a little bit of red 70 denier. Now, where my scissors go? And add that in the front.
Oops. Just adding two whip finishes, ever so slightly cutting it off. And just making sure that everything's okay. But I like to make this about the length of the hook, so just slightly longer. 